Wednesday, Easter Sunday edition of What Caught My Eye, Billy. That's right. And Kane's first. I think I'm up. I think I'm up first, TJ. I'm, I'm a bloody 800 kilometres away, and I should still uh, be steering the ship ahead of what you're doing there at the moment. But anyway, this <laughs> picture bobbed up <laughs> yesterday, TJ, and I couldn't believe the footy factory that the Port Adelaide Football Club had produced. I want to roll this premiership photo from 2004 and talk about the players still involved. Who in the are system. they? Josh, <laughs> Josh Marnie, footy boss at Melbourne. Jared Scott, Port Adelaide, Damien Harbick, you know him. Brett Montgomery, Dewey. Uh, you've got uh, Sean Bergwijn still playing there. Chad's Chad. coming up. Chad. Oh, there's Layton, there's Brogues. There's Adam Kingsley. He's at Richmond. Chad's there. Clarko's there. Gavin oh. Wangling's on the board. Mark Williams is still coaching. Josh Carr, Jeffrey Morris. Has anyone produced more? Mate, we're only on for an hour. <laughs> ...than this 2004 squad, TJ. There's Troy Japanese coaching. But we forgot Surgeon's coaching. Forgot the most important person. The man who's got his own TV, second oh. hand after him. The Volcano oh, is sitting oh, there as well. Oh, 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 what no, a footy factory that is. Oh, no. The argument is done. Can we what cut him off? You've got to get the boy off. Yeah. <laughs> get the boy Super. off. Have you run your... Marathon already and just lost very, your mind because very, this is meant to be the funny part, Kane. Well, very jealous, Lord, that your 2000 mob couldn't produce as many football people oh, as that. Lift Lord, this get segment going <laughs> because get it back anyway, on track, Lordy. Kane ran 20 k's around his tennis court during the week, and uh, he, he started talking about it to every five k's. And this was one of the shots he posted. And no one cared about how far he'd run. They just wanted to discuss what happened to that uh, shoulder there. It's just a big hole in it. Oh, geez, I don't know how Lucy Yuck. jumps in the bed with you overnight, Kane, to be honest. But uh, let's move on to... You were interviewed the next day. the cold day. shoulder. Yeah, the cold shoulder. That's right, Bill. And you were interviewed the next day by Hazy in Adelaide, uh, your partner on SEN there. And he asked you about your shoulder, but it was all about me, 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 stats and also <laughs> records you wanted yes. to break. Let's take a listen. My shoulder... Instantly knew something was wrong, so I got a free kick. It took my kick, Hazy, because it was disposal number 29, so it was in the last quarter. I wasn't not going to have my disposal. So I saw Doc Fisher. He said, mate, your AC's in trouble. You're going to have to have surgery six weeks. So I was flat at that stage, I think. I might have been up to about 170-odd consecutive games in a row, Hazy. Didn't want that record to be broken. I was chasing down Jimmy Steins. Ended up being as tough as I am and not missing a game at all, but never got the shoulder fixed. So it is deformed. Oh, all about records and so, stats is Kane Corns. Yeah, well, the problem is I've been sitting next to you for too long, Lordo. <laughs> Jeez, you're, you're rubbing what? off on me. You're uh, a real team player there, aren't you? Brent. All right, Lloydie, we were counting on you to get it back on track. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Tone. Tone, we love you, Tone. Oh, we, we love go. you. <laughs> if in doubt, just lampoon Tony. Of eh? course, last week we saw old scaredy well, cat then. Tony after Eddie had ripped him a new one <laughs> uh, during the week. And there he is just straight after it. <laughs> old scaredy <laughs> cat got the knee going. <laughs> <laughs> Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Well, what about this week? He goes down to Bells Beach, Torquay, and those very, very frightening waves. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> Just go from there, Tony. <laughs> Righto. Wait for it. Wait Tell for me it. When. Oh, hang on. Do you prefer it with water coming Wait. in? Okay, mate. Arch. Arch. Oh, wait for it, there's but still more. it's not more. just this famous stretch of beach which is deserted. <laughs> Torquay itself, if you compare it to Easter's gone by, is akin to a ghost town. Oh, and comes. from an economic point of view, <laughs> that's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, dude. What? You're a oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> pay for a new... You get free Aquilas yeah. anyway. Yeah, well, that's, I did have the Aquilas yeah. on. I'm not going to get them wrecked just oh. for a piece of camera. I was impressed with how quick off the mark yeah. you were. Yeah, actually, yeah. I was too. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, in the I sand. saw a green piece just there. <laughs> well, I'm glad you saw him, Bill, because you would have had a harpoon in your guts, mate. <laughs> no, I nearly had to, Tony. You had to run away. Uh, yeah, Teach, on Triple M yesterday, we had Lance Armstrong, the Ooh, cyclist yes. on. And when it comes to moon. asking good questions on broadcast media, it's fair to say that, uh, Bill Brownless, you are not Michael Parkinson. A uh, big tax, uh, like Billy here, mate. Hey, what do you win when you win the Tour de France? Do you win a bike or a medal? Oh, Oh, you win a bike. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you imagine if you, you race for 10, 15 years and you've got a bunch of free bikes and then you want more <laughs> and on the tour and they get they give you another one. All right, you don't win a bike. <laughs> <laughs> Melbourne Cup winning Can't jockey gets a horse bill and a <laughs> Rowley <laughs> Millis gets a footy. Well, I was interested because there's a bit of money, but it all goes to the team. But I was wondering what you actually got if you won the Tour de France. Mm. Oh, thought it was a fair question. Mm. Probably not. <laughs> Let's go, Teach. Let's save the segment. Um, well, <laughs> now... Look, obviously Eddie and I had a, oh. an exchange, oh. an exchange. Going there again. 
Oh, Damo, you might go to water every time he walks <laughs> past you. But um, no, anyway, no, so, I don't. No. so we're in makeup the other night, right? And Eddie's very proud of yeah, the I've fact that it. he likes to think he's very techno. Yeah. Okay, when he does all these Skype interviews, normally. It's either Xander or Joe does it all for him. Yeah. But now Eddie's gotten in on the act, right? So he says, have, have a look at this, have a look at this, time. have a look at this, right? And he's got this little, he said, I bought it online for $100, which I wouldn't have thought was an issue for Eddie, but anyway. <laughs> so he's bought this, uh, this thing, this little tripod, and it's got a microphone up on top. And uh, he goes, yeah, watch this. So he pulls one leg out, right? He's very, and he sort of looks and he nods. Of the then tripod. he pulls the other leg of the tripod out, right? And he's sort of nodding all the rest. And I thought, geez, it must actually have a really good sort of like end result. And then I saw the end result. This is Eddie in his whiz bang tripod. <laughs> <laughs> that is the worst framing. And that's him with this tripod that he's telling all the sundry about. <laughs> OK, here we go. Here comes the funny stuff. OK, now, TJ, as we know, you are everybody's number two. You've been number two to Hitch for so long. You've been number two to Neil for a long time. Oh, Neil, you talk about Neil a lot. Neil. Oh, Neil Mitchell, my mate, Neil. Oh, Neil. oh you're still number two to Neil. Yeah. OK, but I've found the perfect number two for you over in the States. We just have to wait for isolation to finish to get him out here to be your number two. <laughs> and now, speaking of cheese, and albeit a little late in the game, oh, no. our co-host <laughs> has finally shown up. The real goat, Chompers, the Hartford Yard Goat's <laughs> reticent mascot. It's always a pleasure to see you, Chompers, here on the E60 set. Chompers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where did you find that? I don't know. The boys upstairs. <laughs> no, did I? Get out. Oh, Chompers. Oh, little Ernie Sigley over here. Hey, hey, Ernie, Ernie. Hey, hey Robert's it. over there. Hey. Ding dong out there. Is <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's better. That's funny. The softening of Ernie Jones. Oh, gee.